Today we're going to look into one of my favourite subjects of all time, food, particularly breakfast. Just talking about it is making my mouth water. Hi, I'm Alex and this is The Englishoneer, looking into what people say in English and why they say it. Breakfast. I don't know about you, but I'd never really paid attention to the word breakfast or brekkie as we sometimes call it. And I just accepted that that was the word for that thing. We use the word break in a variety of different ways. One is to create a separation or an interruption in some activity, like taking a coffee break in a meeting or a lunch break or breaking the silence. We also use it when we want to say that something is no longer working properly, like the elevator is broken or to break a leg or break a promise or even break somebody's heart. We can also use break to make something public, like breaking news. We interrupt this video with some breaking news. A report has just been released that shows that people who subscribe to this channel are discovered to be much more intelligent, charming, confident, and just plain amazing than those who are not. The report goes on to say that giving a like and even commenting on these videos are considered among the elite of society, and those that share it are almost royalty. We will be back soon with a further update. If we examine the word fast in English, it also has more than one meaning. The commonest one describes the speed of doing something. For example, my girlfriend complains that I'm too fast. When, when I'm driving, uh, she thinks I drive too fast. Okay. Another idea means to fix something firmly so that it doesn't move. It's where we get the expression to fasten your seatbelts when you fly. When we say someone is fast asleep, we mean that they are sleeping so deeply that it's really hard to wake them up. A hard and fast rule is one that is firm and cannot be changed. In my house, for example, there is a hard and fast rule not to play football in the house. I said there's a hard and fast rule not to play football in the house. Now the third idea of fast and the one we are referring to is the word that means to avoid eating for a period of time. And this could be for religious reasons or for health reasons. Common fasting practices involve abstaining from eating or drinking anything except water for between 12 or 24 hours. And this ends at sunrise of the following day. Therefore, the first meal after this fasting will break the fast. And that's where we get the word breakfast. My favourite breakfast has always been the full English breakfast, where everything is fried. Fried eggs, fried bacon, fried sausages, fried mushrooms, fried tomatoes. Even the bread is fried. However, my cholesterol levels and my conscience don't let me eat this kind of breakfast anymore. Well, not as frequently anyway. But it is so delicious. Now, this big fried breakfast in the UK and America and some other places around the world, it was traditionally necessary for those going out into the fields or down the mines for a hard day's work of manual labor. It was necessary as people would lose thousands of calories every day in this hard work. The problem is that nowadays people still have this big breakfast, but their hard day's work consists of sitting in front of a computer screen, typing away at uh, their keyboards, a little bit like me. Anyway, it's been absolutely fantastic talking to you, and I would love to hear back from you. So if you have any doubts, any comments, any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.